What's the situation going on here, Robert? My brother's an idiot. Nothing worse than a bass player. It's nothing worse than a shitty guitar player. <laughs> Speechless. Huh? Speechless. There's nothing you're going to say. So we've got going on right there. A bit like Zulu. Zulu, yeah. Don't shoot, you see the whites of their eyes. Some nice guitars. Oh, okay, so there's, there's me and Keith playing guitar. Cool. And there's Keith laughing at me. <laughs> Did you get the wrong chord? Probably. <laughs> there's me laughing at him. <laughs> As him telling me something, you know, because he, when he tells you something, you just kind of just go, oh yeah, mm, okay, and just shut up. When when the governor's talking, you don't really say much back. It's good close up with me and Keith. I think my and took these. And, <laughs> and Keith playing jamming again. So I just picked up my coffee. That's right. Today I'm called Jesus. Um, Nigel, whose coffee is better? Uh, mine. Yours. Mm. Definitely yours, huh? No, no, no. Mine's better. No, no, mine's better. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mine's better. No, no. Who's better? Mine's better. No, no. Mine's better. Have a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you ever have many things go wrong with this car, Nigel? How long has the car been running for? Three weeks. <laughs> Does the car stop when you turn it off? No. <laughs> it's meant to. Success! The car has stopped. <coughs> Technical problem. So you're all ready for the gig tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah? All set? Yeah, I'm ready. You're a boss. Let me look at this outfit from head to toe. I've got the shoes. Where are these shoes from? My friend Paul Hornby, who died. Oh, there he is, bless him. Yeah. Can't get him out, can't get rid of him. <laughs> he still wants to be in the band, even though he's dead. <laughs> Terrible drummer. <laughs> Best dressed guy, though. Where'd you get the hat from? Hat I bought off uh, in the market in Fairfax, which we'll pop down to tomorrow. Yeah. Always find some good bargains down there. And the coat? Coat for some um, merch on Carnaby Street many years ago. Nice. Tied second hand. Glasses from the same bloke in the market. 
And the hair is uh, the model's own, right? Hair is model's own, yeah. What's going on there, Nigel? Beans. Beans. <laughs> Proper beans. On toast. On toast. Would I like beans on toast? I would love yeah, beans, on toast. beans on toast. Yeah. That's the main ingredient. That's the beans. Yeah. yeah. What do you have Vegetarian them with? Beans. Vegetarian beans. What do you have the beans with? No meat. No, no meat. <laughs> have you been inspired since you watched that vegan no, documentary? No, no. I've gone mental. <laughs> So what we've got for lunch right now, we've got some baked beans going on. Is baked beans a very British thing, do you think? I think they are. Yeah. What else would you say is like a really British thing that Americans don't really get? HP sauce. HP sauce, that's true. HP sauce. Um, they still don't really get the tea thing. They kind of toy with it. They always get it wrong. <laughs> Useless. They do, those ice, they do those iced teas, don't they? they like the iced tea thing. Well, actually, I get it because the weather's hot. You know, I get the iced tea. I like a bit of iced coffee. But so if I can't drink iced tea, it just tastes all wrong. It's just rubbish. <laughs> They don't get the tea right. Baked beans, um, you know, bacon's different. I'm not a huge bacon eater, but when I do, I like British bacon. It's a different cut, I don't know what cut they have, I don't know what it is. That's about it, really. Right, so what's the agenda today? Where are we going today? Oh, today, yeah, uh, I have to go to work which involves uh, picking a truck up at a prop house, dropping some stuff that's in the truck in the prop house, and taking another item back to where it comes from, which is a industrial sewing machine uh, downtown. And that's about it, I think. It's like a sort of, it's called a return day. So we just return all the crap we borrowed. And that's all our TV commercial. Yeah, so that's all for TV commercials and movie props and that kind of thing, yeah, right? Yeah, today's a TV commercial, but it's the same uh, agenda for uh, movies or TV commercials. You, uh, you get a location and you make it look how it's meant to look. I.e. period furniture, dirty furniture, yeah. no furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, and then you film it and then you change it back to how it was when you first got there. Got it. Studio, which basically is a studio that provides um, props for movies, TV commercials, and that kind of thing. So, as you can see, kind of over here behind me, we've got like a bunch of different trailers kind of going like this, same on this side over here. Um, and then over there, the red brick building is uh, where we've just been inside to show you around the props and stuff. So, there's a bunch of different stuff here for making um, TV commercials and movies. And uh, yeah, and my friend Nigel, of course, he um, he works during the week and stuff like freelancing for prop studios to help um, dress sets. So yeah, it's pretty World cool. Right? Up here. World War II, yeah, it's the old US World War II webbing. It's a World War II. Korea War. World War II Korea props. Vietnam. I'd say Vietnam. 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 All Vietnam. There's a huge surplus of um, army gear, right, because World of the soldiers. World War II British. Yeah. British World War II, probably just come back from Dunkirk, probably was in the movie, I should think it probably was, that's probably why it's all out here, look. Yeah, right. I'm sure it's just come back. Uh, what we got here? America, uh, his old Vietnam flak jacket right there. <laughs> So 
prop truck um, for commercials. So uh, we just have to be prepared to basically hey, have anything. It's not that. That's it's great. Nothing. Well, it's nice. It's small. Yeah. You don't take up as much room. So, Nigel, what do we have here? Everything. So we have stuff for to make food. Um, dusters, whisks, knives, everything. Then we have plates. We have stuff to make drinks uh, for like beer commercials and stuff. Cleared books. Ice. Are, ice. Like ice. Like. Uh, all these cleared books, like, are just, they're uh, nondescript, and then nondescript magazines, like, fake magazines, and, uh, shit falls out everywhere. Stuff for a cafe, cleared soda cans, as you can see down there, guitars, music props. Fake newspaper. Fake <laughs> newspapers. Um, every different kind of freaking tape you can think of. This is all fake, guys. We have rubber ice and then we have silicone ice, depending on what. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Um, we have guns, knives, weapons, cell phones, every kind of sports equipment. cell phones, sports equipment, safety goggles, and then everything's kind of marked. Like this is more kind of if we have to make something, um, like plumbing supplies. If we have to make a sink work or anything like that, different cups, bike helmets. Computers, mail, fake mail, <laughs> toys. Chinese takeaway food, <laughs> coffee cups. We use um, coffee cups a lot. Yeah, we use a lot of coffee cups. And then this is all tools in here, and this is all little hand props. Cool. And um, from like cameras to fake cigarettes, headphones, jewelry, and then we have high end stuff. We have like knockoff Rolex watches and. Wedding rings, Blanc pens for high end stuff, and number plates. Mm -hmm. Fake number plates. <laughs> then we have European number plates, ND number plates in here, Chinese. These are Chinese. Got... So they're all, they all have to be, you know, with the number sequence, you know, cleared and. All pretty boring. So. Ah, that's cool. Um, and then we have helium. We have nitrogen. We have CO2 tanks. Because a lot of times, what we have to do is like make this bottle, you know, blow across a table or something. So we have magnets. We have all these different rigs <laughs> to do that. Like all this stuff, all this hardware stuff, and all things. Have you got any armature? Sorry, Rich. Have you got any armature wire I can yeah. borrow? Uh, can I borrow a bit of that? <laughs> yeah, sure. You want the green? Yeah, it's just for, I'll bring it back. So this is all like... <laughs> bring it back. For yeah, poor right. shots, we put this on a thing and then we put this... So the people can... Their arm thing so they can... Doesn't move. Right. Move and uh, then they... With green, they get rid of that in um, post-production. So this is all little rigging things to make little... I don't know. That's so cool. And then... Um, Here's all the all the high end, high end stuff. So you have all your rings, wow. different rings for people. These are all fake Mont Blanc pens, and then down here is all our our fake watches. Everything. It's just like Glasses a Chinatown things. market, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, kind of our job is they they expect like a director will say, "Hey, you know what? It'd be great if we had a this in. actor had a." Yeah, had a watch, or this actor had a fake book he was reading, or a magazine, or a whatever, and we just have to, you know. Well, the thing you have to remember is that you can't use like a real book or a real newspaper because uh -huh. someone will sue you, you don't have the rights to use it, so yeah. it has to be fake. Same as a number plate, you can't use a real number plate. Mm. Yeah, the same with a book, you know, you threw someone's book, you threw like Harry Potter in, they'd be on the phone to you straight away, so you have to have, we have fake books that just... And we have yeah, fake, like we're can't use Coke cans. So yeah, we have, if we're doing a, an ad for a Coke, they don't want to do an ad for another, mm. you know, like so Red Bull or something, so we have cleared. Yeah, sure, Those yeah, are yeah. fake brands. On movies and TVs, they kind of, they have this thing called its uh, product placement. Yeah. So they can get clearance to use different items and stuff like that. And they get but, sponsored uh, by them, kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. Right, yeah, yeah. So, but on commercials, you can't, because we're... Obviously, just by the nature Obviously. of a commercial, you can't yeah. have some other product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to put them yeah. off. Cool. Like we've gotten on a Pepsi job before we got clearance to use a Mercedes. 
but then Pepsi, like Mercedes said, we could use their car, but then Pepsi didn't want to advertise for Mercedes, so we had to get rid of all the windows. This um, coffee shop is very helpful because they have spoons, knives, and forks, and they label them just in case you're not sure what they are. Because if you thought that was a fork, you can now be sure it is a spoon. This is definitely not a spoon, as you can see, it says forks. So that's really helpful, you know. I think that's good to. Breakneck speed for this time of the day on this freeway. We're coming up to some difficult traffic maneuvering here. Oh, and we're off. We're going 10 miles an hour. 10 miles an hour now. Oh my god, 12 miles an hour. I've got one on my left, that on my right. I think I can do this. Concentration. Concentration. I'm so oh, neck and neck. Neck and neck. It's gonna be a photo finish. Oh, come on. Oh, I've beaten that one. There's the hybrid. Oh my god, it's beating me with the little electric motor. <laughs> no, I've pulled away. Breakneck, 20 miles an hour. We are accelerating. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, hold on to your hats. She's pulling away from me. I see brake lights. I see brake lights. No, they're riding the brakes. No, oh, those are brakes. Yes, those are brakes. That's an indicator. I've got an indicator on my left. That's worrying me. It could be dangerous. No, but he's holding off. I still... Oh, he's pulled in front of me. That slowed me down now. It's 18 miles an hour. I'm gonna get out of the car. Now, I can't stand it anymore. I've been in this seat for four <laughs> hours. How hot is it? It's just dripping. Yeah, is your back I'm hot? Heat. I've got a wet back. Wet groin, sticky palms, greasy skin. Have you got to get out of the car? Got to get out of the car. I'm just actually right now running up to the supermarket to get some more supplies. I've kind of run out of my weekly supplies. Bananas, vegan burritos and uh, snacks and stuff. So I'm going to go get some stuff now. Um, and then today I think um, we're going to be heading out filming. Nigel do a few things for him to try and maybe make a little video for his band. Um, and then maybe go hang out around Hollywood, uh, which would be pretty cool. Yesterday we had a bit of a fun day. We traipsed around uh, the ISS um, Hollywood Film uh, Prop Studio. So we did that and did a few errands, as you probably saw already. So that was a bunch of fun. We got caught in traffic for about three or four hours. Um, so damn, that was sweaty. But it's good fun. It's all good fun. It's all part of the experience. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to go get some food now. And then begin this day. Get some coffee going, right? It's all about the coffee. All about the coffee! Here we go, Jinx is going to try the organic cold brew coffee and give the taste test. Black, no milk. It should be sponsored by Trader Joe's. How's that working out? Yes. Pretty good? Pretty good? Yeah, I think that'll do the trick. Yeah. All right. It's got like a little bit of strength to it, right? Yeah, a little, little kick. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like it though. Yeah. It's hard for me. Uh, made those up. And this is what... This is what happens when Jinx grabs a coffee. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> yeah. can, I, can, I, can I make money from this off eBay? Well, the people that, there probably are people that buy this, right? So this week, I have been, and last week in fact, I have been very kindly um, been allowed to stay with my friend Jinx and my friend Nigel. Um, Jinx is married to Nigel's sister, Alice. Um, Jinx also plays in a band, which apparently is super successful. Um, so over here do we right. have, you do all right. Do right. So I saw here, um, maybe just talk me through real quickly. So these are different albums, right? Two different albums we've done. Um, this is our first one we did, uh, We Stitched These Wounds. Um, that was released in 2010. 
And how many of these did you sell? Well, uh, this this plaque only commemorates a hundred thousand actual sales. Hundred thousand. Yeah, and we've, uh -huh. we've sold uh, many more since this this plaque was made. So, um, uh -huh. wait for the next plaque, really. Uh, this is our second record, which set the world on fire. That was released the, the following year, 2011. And then, um, let's see, down here, this, uh, well, and in between, this um, record, Wretched and Divine, is our most successful record to date, our third record. And that's another 100,000 albums sold. Yeah, and then 200,000 there. 200,000. Yeah. <laughs> I think that one's gone gold by now, and RIAA certified. And then Damn. this is our fourth record we did with uh, Bob Rock, it's 100,000. The last album. Uh, and Bob Rock's a pretty famous producer, right? He did, uh, yeah, uh, he's done some pretty, pretty amazing Metallica stuff. Metallica, Metallica, yeah. Def Leppard years ago, maybe. Uh, not Def Leppard. Uh, bon Jovi. Bon Jovi, right? Them. They did a uh, um, Motley Crue's Doctor Feelgood, the big album for them. And then that was our. Uh, we did a live DVD following the tour, doing the uh, that album, and um, uh, it was a best-selling live DVD for um, Damn. a music DVD. So. So it's safe to say that this band you play in, Master Jinx, uh -huh. is extremely successful and can afford just about to keep us in good coffees, right? Uh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, just a few awards that we've uh, picked up along so the way. you won a bunch of awards. These are Revolver Golden Gods. Yeah, um, Revolver the Magazine, yeah. So yeah. it's Best New Band, we've got... Uh, I got Best Guitarist. Best Guitarist, that's so yes. cool. In 2012, and then 2013, uh, Song, Song of the, the Year. year. Yeah. What have we got going on here? We've got Best Newcomer, so that was no, an early one. Uh, Kerrang Wars, yeah, that was... It was uh, and Kerrang is a UK uh, rock magazine, right? Mm hmm Okay, Best Single, yeah. it goes on and on, right? Best Live Band, Yeah. We, and Best Live... What's the most award you're most this proud is of? AP Magazine here. Um, let's see, yeah. So album of the Year, yeah. okay. Um, I'd say probably the best guitarist that was, uh, you know, one that I got and it was like uh, me, me and my other guitarist Jake Pitts, he, you know, we, we went up and, and we each accepted a, an award. Um, it, was a, it was kind of a shocker because we were up against some uh, very major talent. Um, uh, I think Megadeth was one of the bands and, uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of Megadeth so it was, it was just kind of like we go up there and I, I, just, I feel a bit, um, uh, let's say intimidated but I just felt like uh, undeserving. And, um, but it, you know, it's, I'm very proud of it. So. But when you say undeserving, you've also got back over here well, a sure, bunch yeah. of records that you sold a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, and yeah, and this kind of stuff. Sure. So people obviously really, really like it, and yeah. you know, we do have some fans out there, some really dedicated fans. So and, and really, it's 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 because of them. So um, yeah. And what's coming up in the future? You have a. You, I sound like a rock journal, right? This is just That's a right. blog. <laughs> That's coming up in the future. But you have um, a new album coming out next uh, year? In, in January, yeah, in the new year. We have a brand new record coming out, so it'll be our fifth one. Uh, we've been working on it over the, the course of the last two years, since uh, 2015. Uh, December 2015 uh, is when we began the pre-production uh, on it, and then uh, we just worked on it through 2016 and, and finished, uh, wrapped up in uh, about April of uh, 2017. So it's a it big, big record. Uh, yeah, it's a very big record, and I'm um, very excited about it. Hope it does well. Yeah. So <laughs> everyone, go and buy it. Um, I'm sure, like a, a few hundred thousand of you will it, do. Just go buy it. But yeah, don't <laughs> stream it. Buy it. This is it. Don't just like watch it on YouTube. Support, go support and music. go and buy it. Support music because these guys do work their ass off for it, and it's like a year and a half's work. And yeah. you've got to kind of factor that, you know, as musicians. It, that side of it is a job because you, you, you're not working for anything else, you're not getting any other income, no, so, no. so for God's sake, job, yeah, so. go and buy that and give these guys an extra salary so they can make more and more and more and more music that's and right. then play shows and come and see you guys. Absolutely. Hi guys, so that's pretty much the end of um, vlog number seven um, and also like the end of my time in LA pretty much because I'm going to be moving on in a few days um, where you're going to have to just find out and watch the next vlog to find out where that is. Um, but first, I really want to say a big thank you to Nigel, to Alice, and to Jinx for letting me stay in their gorgeous home, for making me feel like so welcome, and for being so kind and awesome. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys really soon. Um, yeah, if you love this vlog and you love this channel, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, um, leave a comment, and come say hi. You can follow me on like Instagram and stuff, all linked below. Nigel's band The Brutalists, uh, Jinx's band Black Veil Brides are all linked below in the description so you can go and look and find out some more stuff. 
Um, and thanks. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.